Okay, folks, we are back. Yeah, I was having some slight technical difficulties. I wasn't liking all that lag and that crazy voodoo voodoo stuff. So, um, yeah, so I could see the screen. So I'm indoors again at U of T. Um, thank you, folks. Uh, stay tuned for our all day coverage. Right now, we're at Queens Park. Well, uh, right beside it. And okay, so that looks better. Yeah, I was getting major lag. Okay, that's better. Uh, okay, folks, here we go. Take two. We are awake. Waken Duke from Amsterdam, one of the mods here. Okay, I'm liking that. That's better. There's too much freezing and lagging and craziness that first time, and nice reboot. And in order to see the screen and everything, I have to go indoors. I can still do it in the sunlight, but it's just easier to do it this way. So this is, uh, we're looking east. That's Queens Park, the provincial legislator, legislature. And there's the festivities. Free food is the Occupy Gardens. Occupy is still very, very strong here in Toronto. And because it's an Occupy event, there's a uh, heavier than most police presence. There we go, that's better. It's way better. <coughs> Doggy. Alrighty. That's way better, eh, folks? Worth the wait. We're going to be live for the next uh, six to eight hours. We're going to get some interviews with people. Ah, that's way better. Yar. No. Oh. Yar. Hey, Veronica. Well, we're gonna do a play. It's called. Um, You're involved? No. Nice. Yeah. No, no garden is illegal. We're gonna do this play. I sure hope not. Yeah. Well, like I see these guys in suits, like standing around everywhere. So, so we're gonna do this play. And it's gonna happen in about like maybe five minutes or Beautiful. ten minutes. So get ready, folks. It's really funny, and it's all about no garden is illegal. And let's it's hope late. not. <laughs> High five, dude. Yar. Oh, sorry. Hey, yar. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a Pied Piper. <laughs> hey, Oli. Yar. Yar. Are you gonna play with these guys now? Okay, sweet. We have a Yarr. Yarr. Are you involved with the play? Of course. Uh, well, I am here to support and, um, you know, to uh, offer my magic and some visual art forms as well. 
Um, this time, I uh, uh, the guys have prepared this amazing show. And it's the story of the garden. And it's the story of this garden, but told in fable form. So it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. You want to say something to our Spanish-speaking audience? Uh, yes, should I say it in Spanish? Uh, What's going on here? Okay, well, let, let me think in Spanish. Eh, estamos teniendo un... Um, no, no puedo. Pero sí puedo hablar de otra cosa que no sea tanto en, en, en inglés, traducir un poco. Y les mando saludos y debería venir a visitar Toronto, en donde sea que estén escuchando esto que está en español. So, thank you. Thank you for listening. Yarr. Yarr. Yar. Where is this? Where is this? It's occupied Toronto live stream. Oh, amazing. Good. I'm online. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for recording. Awesome. I don't know if Maria, as, uh, like she did a, a seed saving workshop. No uh -huh. heritage cheese and so on. She might do another round. I, I was looking for you. I wanted you to cover the seed I, saving. I know. I, I was dealing with some slight technical difficulties. It's okay. You want to tell the French speaking audience worldwide what's going on in French? Well, uh, ici c'est la journée de nourriture à bouffe gratuite uh, dans le cadre du le, le, le premier mai, la, la fête des la vraie fête des travailleurs. Alors euh, là, il va y avoir du théâtre bientôt, euh, des jardiniers, les, occupants, les, les, les occupons les jardins, Occupy Gardens, ils vont faire un, un, un skit, un, du théâtre, un jardin, un jardin Nicole, <rire> horticole. Euh, après ça, il va y avoir une grande marche. The march starts from here. OK, à 5h30, il y a une grosse marche. Il va y avoir idol, il va y avoir... Euh, Uh, plein du groupe uh, comme uh, No One Is Illegal, uh, Solidarité Sans Frontières. Il va avoir, uh, il va avoir un, un, un round dance, I Don't Know More. Is that the same time? Is it here or is it down there? I'm not sure. Uh, de, il va avoir uh, plein de groupes qui viennent ici. Il va avoir, on arrête en chemin pour une action d'urgence pour uh, quelqu'un qui a des problèmes d'immigration. Uh, there's a whole lot going on. You can I look on uh, May Day. Uh, I don't know more is going to speak here today as well. Yes. So there's many groups. And if you get a little interview with Maria, that'd be nice. Yeah. Maria's over there with the blue hat. Oh, yeah. Do you think there might be a second take of the, 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 the seed saving workshop? Well, the play is about to Because I was thinking about, uh, well, yeah, okay, the play is about to go on because I was thinking of having it live streamed. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, I, you, actually, I think some of it was being live streamed. I don't know oh. uh, Vincent was by with some Well, device. D is here right now. Is, we're live to the world. You want to talk about a little bit about uh, seed, uh, seed saving? Uh, to the world? Okay, well, why don't you ask me a question and I'll see if I can answer. Oh, okay. Well, for example, what's... Uh, 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 well, one of the best reasons to save uh, heritage seeds. Uh, I can explain it, but you, you did it so well earlier. Well, it's a matter of food sovereignty. We yes. need to have foods in, that we can live on in our own community in our own bioregion so that those plants are adapted that they are in the public domain and that they are uh, that they really belong to us and we know how to grow them and, and how to use them uh, in case of any any of, of a million emergencies we shouldn't wait for the emergency we should just become more locally self-sufficient but those emergencies that can come up I think about that when I see those families carrying their children across the desert, you know, escaping a war zone. And where, where are they going? They're going to food. I have, they're doing a mic check now. I think they're going to start to play. We'll get... A five minute!
into a circle formation. So we can enjoy the ceremony. The speakers. And the performance. Thank you. One more thing. There's some bread left. It's leaving soon. So if you're still hungry, go grab it at the food table. We'll continue with that seed discussion. Uh, and Suzanne, very, very shortly, folks. The festivities are on their way. But so much of today is, of course, because it's the spring and May Day. And this is an Occupy Gardens, a committee of uh, Occupy Toronto. Uh, seeds are very, very important. Last year, we planted a garden on the north lawn here. And I must say, in the fall, the government brutally ripped out the garden and just threw it in the garbage. Right when the harvest was happening. Uh, brutal. They didn't even give the, the fruit and the foods away. Ready for Damn the right. Let's get ready for the blockades. <laughs> it's the blockade season. Soon. Next fall. Coming to a province near you. <laughs> Yar.
Live to the world. Awesome. Live to the world. Hi, world. Oh, yeah. Italy would stand still if there was no tomatoes. Exactly. Tomatoes and shakes. We need the tomatoes.
Hey, banana! 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 Are we ready? Greetings and welcome. Welcome to Queen's Park, where we're living as we should live in. A friend of mine, Thunder and Lightning, just said that all... In a world of true freedom, one doesn't have to ask permission. So come on down and join us here, because there's no reason this has to stop. Well, collect people. Mic check! 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 Mic Guys, it might move back a little bit. Hello. Back a little bit more. Oh, really? I'm not kidding. There we go. Awesome. Do we have the people at the front? Testing, testing, testing. Okay, it's on. So you just want to get some volume or whatever. However you want it, a little louder, a little louder, quieter. Keep going, keep going. I hear it. Keep going. Uh, how are we doing for now? Is everybody good, happy? Good. A little louder. Let's go here. 
little louder. Getting a thumbs up, okay? Maybe people have to yell a bit louder in the microphone too. Maybe if I bring it up like this, that's bringing my voice up. Good, I don't okay. know if other people. people in the back, that was my up. voice. That was my Hello. voice. It wasn't Whoa. necessarily the volume on this. <laughs> <laughs> in just a moment we have um, a really beautiful uh, event going on and thank you so much for being here um, yeah we're celebrating food and life and land and love and all those things we're gonna begin um, elder Lester Green is gonna do opening prayer for us and uh, we ask that everyone take off their hat, please, for uh, for this, and um, we're yeah, we're just gonna settle in for that. Yeah, we, although I'm not an elder yet, anyways, I'm only 35. Njokwa, say what I want to see us, Jinigi Libes, the city of Anuelaro, nice and fine diesel. Ohano Galewadekwa, why do I want no heads there? Away Unska, did walk by Nuni named Guanigula, Danun Dietin Ulado named Ungue Sua. That's only a duhak named Guanigura. 
Pagbayo ons ka, di ruwak pa inuni ni Iguat ni Gura. Danu da yatin walaro ne, yatin istanha, jokul jari. Eto niyo duhak ni Iguat ni Gura. Pagbayo ons ka, di ruwak pa inuni ni Iguat ni Gura. Danu da yatin walaro ne, de yung kiyaridu. Eto niyo duhak ni Iguat ni Gura. Pagbayo ons ka, di ruwak pa inuni ni Iguat ni Gura. Da siriwa nu walaro ne, si kwain diso. Eto niyo duhak ni Iguat ni Gura. Danu da yatin. Ona nua hanu galewa dakwa agwego unska ndir wakwa inuni ningwa ni gura Ona nua hanu galewa dakwa doga untano singit ni gora jizi wa yadatsu ai jizi wa ikodago atu ni odu hak ningwa ni gura I just gave the opening it was very brief but what I did is I actually said thank you and these are the words that come before all else the words of important matter and what I did is I thank the people for being here, all people across Turtle Island. I also thank uh, Mother Earth for allowing us to have that sustenance that, that we get from her. And I also thank Sanguine Diso, the creator, for allowing us to be here today as well. <clears throat> it's an honor to be here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to introduce myself. Sego, Sego, Guego, Nunu Kusle, Siongya, Sonia, Te Aga, Waxkulewile, Hodunishone, Ongihongi, Loris, Konegete. My name is Lonu Kuisles. My English name is Lester Green. Lonu Kuisles means he has long hair. I'm of the United Nation. I'm Bear Clan. Ongwe Hongwe is the original people. Haudenosaunee, the people of the Longhouse. And Lodis Konegete translates to roughly, uh, they carry the burden of peace on their backs or on their shoulders. And I belong to a group called uh, uh, the Lodis Konegete, which is the Men's Council. We meet on issues all the time in regards to our mother, the earth. And the responsibilities and duties of the Lotus Konegete is to make sure that we stand up for our mother, the earth. Our second main duty is to make sure we stand up for the women and children. I believe that's why we're all here today is to make sure that there's going to be a better future for those young ones, those great grandchildren, those ones that are still on the ground that are yet to come, like we say. And it's an honor to be here once again. And uh, I did my part in opening. We'll do a closing a little later on, so I guess I'll pass the mic to, uh, uh, I believe, Wes? Is Wes next? Okay, so somebody else will come up, I guess, and let you know what's going on. But yeah, thank you. So we're going to have um, a beautiful performance next by a Native drumming and singing group. So I just want to welcome them to uh, come join us, take the stage. that uh, comes from the east and the last song we're going to sing is, is from the west and uh, just share some songs with you this way. The first song I want to sing is uh, Make a Mile Welcome Me.
That song was a Mikama opening song. We're going to sing the Strong Woman song for you, but not right now. The next song we're going to share with you is a humble song. It's in English too, so you'll understand. Um, share the song. Just talks about our relationship to our mother, the earth, this week.
My family's from St. Kitts and Martinique, but I have a big responsibility to stand here and sing these songs and with great respect, I, I thank my sisters for allowing me to do this. Can you hear me? Yeah, I My family is from St. Kitts and Martinique. My spirit name is Singing Spirit in the Night. And I just like to always thank my uh, sisters here and all the all the people that I get to sing with all the time for allowing me to be here, allowing me to share these songs and, and stand up and, and, and give back a little bit and help out with this drum as much as we can. Just always want to say, say thank you to everyone that I get to sing with and for being able to share with you. Thank you. The next song we'd like to share with you is called the Strong Woman Song. And uh, all the time, the reason why this hand drum here is in Toronto right now is because some of the workers at the Anishinaabe Health would uh, go down into the prisons and sing with uh, sing with our sisters and brothers that were incarcerated around around uh, around Turtle Island. And they wanted to bring this medicine to them. They wanted to bring this medicine to them and they, they knew they needed this because they were so far away from home and losing this piece of their lives. But when they came back, they realized that all of us out here too, we, we didn't have it either. We lost it. We all had lost it. And uh, my grandma started telling us, you know, we have to add this drum to our bundle. That bundle is all those things that we carry that help us help us on our journey through life. So they said, you know, the women have to too start carrying this drum. So uh, one of the one of the songs that's uh, really strong that uh, we sing about and remember and remembering all of our sisters that are that are still that are still in, in jail is that strong woman song. We always remember all our sisters that are in prison and had a hard time. And usually because what did they do? They fought back. That's why they're there. So I just like to say and, and give thanks to all our sisters and for their struggles and I'll send this out song this song out to them later. Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah, hey guys, uh, thanks for listening. We have one more song for you. It's actually the Women Warrior song, so please enjoy. And again, thank you for listening. Terry Lynn. Um, she works with youth planting community gardens up north, and um, uh, she'll tell you more about uh, why she believes that uh, Indigenous sovereignty and uh, food gardening are uh, very important things to go together. In the name and the uh, language of the people that that jingle the coins in their pockets that we refer to as the English. My name is Terry Lynn Brett. Uh, Meadowlark is my uncle Hawaii name. Um, and I guess I wanted to this morning as I sat in my garden, I just kind of wanted to clarify. I've been a traditional gardener for many, many years. Uh, I live on 60 acres in my community. Uh, I guess what they call, the new way people call it totally off the grid, only um, when I built my house, I didn't know that because uh, it's still off the grid. I did get some solar panels recently, so that's kind of cool. And, uh, anyway, um, I've done a lot of uh, gardening and farming my whole life. It's been a mainstay in my family. My uncle was the last subsistence farmer in my community, and I learned, learned a lot of his ways. And recently, a lot of the young people have started to come and say, how do we do this and how do we do that? And so I've started to 
Uh, as I've had some few ailments, they've been very much appreciative in helping me with my gardening and, and me hopefully that they're appreciating that they're learning a little bit themselves. So I was at my garden this morning. It was a really good morning. I was really happy because um, today I saw where I had planted one asparagus root three years ago. I now have nine. And uh, so that was a really good thing for me to see and, and, and really happy that that happened. Because when you plant things, you know, sometimes it always just doesn't happen. You know, it doesn't always get to be what you dream for it to be. Or you look at the guy's field across the road and you say, how come he can do it and I can't? So, anyways, when I come here, I said, I got to come to Toronto. I said, what the heck am I going to tell them people there in Toronto? What am I going to tell them that maybe will motivate them and get them excited? Because I see some gloomy faces. And I thought real long time and I looked at my new asparagus and I thought, I said, I guess the only thing I can say is, go leaves go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, you've got a team. Give it all the energy and spirit that you can because your, your town can use it. Okay. Um, another, I also started to think, um, when even in the ride along here, look at your baby trees. You've got problems. They're not a living. Most of your young trees are... Probably every third tree I saw was, was, was dead, standing dead. Nobody even bothered to care for it. Could you explain that, please? So I hope, I hope that something can be done that, that those trees can get rejuvenated in some way. Anyways, I guess I only had a few minutes to speak to you today, but I wanted to uh, maybe share a little bit about hope with you. And I know sometimes we can't always have the, you know, 60 acre farm that some people have that although we wish to. But I remember there was a time in my culture when my people didn't even have an earth to stand on. So today I sat in my garden and I, we have a story in our, in our culture, it's our creation story. And in that story, one of the animals went down to the bottom of the, of the ocean and he brought up a handful of soil and he gave it to the woman who fell from the sky. And she took that handful of soil and she laid it on the back of a turtle and she started to dance. And that one little tiny handful of soil became the earth that we all now enjoy. To me, that is the greatest story of inspiration and of hope and of change. But as I said, where there was nothing, she created that. So I hope that, that kind of inspiration is in with all of you. Because that's the kind of inspiration the earth needs today. The kind of inspiration that our gardens need. They say, put in the seed. It's unfortunate today. I have all my own seeds that have been in my family for several hundred years. But many people don't have that luxury. We have a word in our language. It's a oyera. It's a really, really important word. And I don't even really know how to really translate it to you. But it's to maybe to say it means the equivalent of Mother Nature. It's that spirit within anything that makes things grow. It's that spirit that it, it already knows how to do that. And even if you're no good gardener, you put it, you know, you put that little seed in the soil, there's a good chance it's gonna grow. Pretty good chance. But you know what? For whatever reason today, people have created those seeds. They have no so oh yeah. You can't put them in the ground. You can't see they won't grow. And it's been a sad day to think when a seed, without you spraying it or putting something on it, it doesn't know enough to grow. Somebody took that away from that seed. And it's people like you that come here today that I know would do what you could to make sure that seed gets back to where it belongs. So I encourage you, to refuse these GMOs, the terminator seeds, the seeds that are killing all the other plants within creation. That I encourage you. And as I say, all it takes is a handful of soil that's created the earth. All this it takes is that one handful. So that one little handful you put in, even if you live on the 34th floor in one of these buildings, 
You put it on your porch, you put it in your window. There's something you can create. So good luck to you. Enjoy your day. Now <laughs> Thank you so much, Terry. As a novice gardener, I'm very inspired <laughs> by uh, what you shared with us because it only takes a little bit of soil and a few non-GMO heirloom organic seeds to uh, grow a garden. That's why we started the Toronto Seed Library. They were tabling back there before and you can find out more um, online too. Uh, next, we have Wes Elliott. Um, who's a Six Nations community member and very active in uh, the land defense movement, I'm going to be talking to you next. Sago. My name is Yuat Nahitne of Story, put in the Shoney, hosted a Get That. Uh, most people know me as Wes, Wes Elliott. And the first thing, before I even talk about anything, Laughter, medicine, there are two things that are connected. I just want to read you this and see if you laugh. Three surgeons are discussing who makes the best patients to operate on. The first patient said, electricians are the best. Everything inside is color-coded. The second surgeon says, no, I think librarians are. Everything inside them is in alphabetical order. The third said, surgeon shut them up when he said, you're all wrong. Politicians are the easiest to operate. There's no guts, no heart, no balls, no brains, and no spine, plus the head and the ass are interchangeable. <laughs> the laughter is medicine. It helps. And now what I want to do before I, I talk, I need to get some energy in this crowd, okay? And what I need to do is, I'm going to say, uh, oh, let's see, we will, uh, let's see, how do I want to phrase that? Uh, we will not be, and then your response will be, I don't know more. We will not be, I don't know more. We will not be, I don't know more. We will not be, I don't know more. Louder. We will not be, I don't know more. We will not be, I don't know more. We will not be. I don't know more. Now, this is supposed to be a day of solidarity and unity. Woo! I want to hear, first of all, can you guys say unity? Unity. 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 Oh, you got to be louder than that. Let's say solidarity. That's a long word. Let's see what we do. Solidarity. 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 Very good. Okay, now you've got some energy in you. One of the things, one of the things I wanted to uh, touch on very briefly is we have what, and most of you are uh, know of it. We have what's called the Two Row Wampum Treaty. Now that is a very important treaty that we have. We are commemorating this year 400 years of having the Two Row Wampum Treaty. 400 years. And that treaty is also yours because we are all treaty people. Let's hear a shout for that. We are all treaty people. We are all treaty people. We are all treaty people. Treaty people. Now, this belt also signifies much more than just what people talk about with the boat and canoe. It is our relationship that we have with creation. It is the, signifies the original agreement. There's so much more to this that needs to be understood. Now, when you're dealing with us as Native people, we are not Aboriginals. We are not First Nations. We are not any of that. We are on way home way, which means original people. For easy use, you can say natives if you like. Now, working with us, we have the same goals, the protection of the people, the lands, the waters, the animals of Mother Earth. 
We must work together with our common goals to build a way forward. The inherent knowledge of Native people comes from our Mother Earth and the ancestors that came before us and the one that will come after us. The knowledge is intertwined in our spirituality and our way of utilizing natural law. Current governments are working to commodify not just the lands, the waters, the animals, but all people. We must, <coughs> excuse me, we must break free from these oppressive structures and return to the values that respect the knowledge of na native peoples of Turtle Island. Resistance for us began 520 years ago. Institutionalized colonialism has led to the cumulative removal of our history, a deep understanding of our rights and our place in this society. We urge everyone to build strong relationships with us to restore this balance of understanding. Native people live, have been defined, lives have been defined by resistance. We can show how our lived experience can help build a way forward. We must reestablish a respectful relationship based on an understanding of culture, traditions, and language. However, our people and issues cannot be co-opted. Therefore, Native people of Turtle Island have been oppressed for centuries, are in a process of reawakening, and you must respect that we must lead ourselves. Native people have lived on Turtle Island since time immemorial, and we kept the land clean and free of destruction for centuries before contact. We know this land intimately because we are people of the land, and we are the land. We are guardians of the harmonious cycles of the land. If the land dies, we die. As people of the land, we have to work to restore the Native people's values based on responsibilities and rights. Therefore, it is imperative that our people continue to take a leading role in changing the future. Our rights and responsibilities are the foundation for building a better future for all. Therefore, in solidarity with those that reject the racist doctrine of discovery and terror knowledge, and those working with Native people must be publicly rejecting these oppressive regimes in order to effectively build relationships with the Native people of Turtle Island. We recognize the need to work in partnership with our allies and allied groups because we understand that our allies are necessary to strengthen not only our power but theirs. Your liberation is tied to ours. We are all connected. We all need to move forward together. Unity, solidarity. As Native people of Turtle Island, we are many nations with varying cultures, values, distinct tactics, and strategies for moving forward to address over 500 years of oppression. And it must be respected that work towards creating the spaces for not only the inclusion of Native people, but for all our peoples to take an effective role in guiding and leading in the process. This can be done through recognition of the distinct values and rights of the many nations of Turtle Island. We propose to adopt principles to guide the planning and implementation process. The principles of engagement require that a proper protocol is taken at a regional basis to ensure that Native people issues are not co-opted. Taken into consideration, there is no one protocol because of the many diverse traditions, values, and cultures across Turner Island. We must work towards obtaining proper grassroots representation from each territory. Re regional meetings with Native people must occur prior to any type of action that the native people are included in the in this this can be through educational teaching sharing across the boundaries we need to include proper native peoples within any type of boards or committees to ensure the values of the native people continue to be the leading foundation of the process if there is a process developed then this must pro um, excuse me this process must be dealt developed that ensures proper inclusion we, while there are recognized national, regional, Aboriginal organizations, they are not reflected of all Native people's voices. The voices of grassroots people must be included in this process, but not limited to the communities that are comprised 
within the defenders of the net uh, of the land. We are all part of a natural revolution. We need to remember our way back. Some of us has completely lost our way, and some of us still have a connection to our land. This is what we need to share these words with all. We need to come together. We need to have the unity. We need to have solidarity. So one more time. Unity. 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 Solidarity. 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 We will be. I don't know. No more. No more. We will be. I we will be. I don't know. We will be. I don't know. Yelly, down the top. Thank you, Wes. Very powerful words. Um, we have one more speaker for you guys. Um, a migrant worker from Mexico is here to share his story, Santiago. And, um, he was working here in Ontario, and he's going to um, <coughs> speak in Spanish, and we'll have uh, Pia doing translations for us. I apologize for using some Honduras. I had the uh, wrong information. Thank you so much. Buenas tardes a todos. Eh, espero que estén pasando un lindo día. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are all having a great time. Bueno, eh, hoy solo quiero contarles un, un poquito de mi experiencia aquí en Canadá. Yo soy Santiago, disculpe que no me había presentado. Eh, soy un migrante hondureño aquí en Canadá. I just want to tell you a little bit about my experience in Canada. I'm a migrant worker, worker from Honduras. My name is Santiago. Uh, bueno, una de mis uh, eh, inquietudes aquí en Canadá es eh, nosotros venimos aquí a Canadá a trabajar eh, y la verdad ahorita estoy sin trabajo y Estoy mirando que um, como que ya no me quieren ayudar y yo necesito un trabajo. Uh, like he said, I'm a migrant worker and uh, I came to Canada to work in a flower farm. Right now, I'm, right now I'm out of work and uh, the government uh, doesn't really want to help us right now. The people that loses their work after farming. Uh, y la verdad nosotros también. Eh, no sé, tenemos creo el mismo derecho de que todos eh, y si estamos acá es por el desarrollo de también de Canadá y necesitamos que nos uh, nos den atención médica y que no nos limite, eh, limiten eh, muchas cosas como de comida eh, que no nos limiten las escuelas porque nosotros también necesitamos eh, Aprender un poquito más de inglés. Um, the fact that we are here, uh, we are also helping the Canadian economy, and the government doesn't really give us uh, anything in return, like uh, health care or uh, you know help with, uh, with with food and supplies, and also um, school for our children and for themselves because they don't speak English, so they need to learn. Um, Creo que sí tenemos derecho de todo eso y me gustaría eh, me gustaría que nos ayudaran un poquito más a nosotros eh, porque nosotros estamos con ustedes también y no sé. Uh, he says that uh, he would really like uh, for everybody to be supportive uh, of migrant workers because uh, they are also with uh, with you, uh, with with Canadians, and uh, I think that's all. Yeah, that's all he wants to say. Okay, uh, 
and I just want to add something on my own. I think uh, the, the food crew for the chili needs a big applause. Uh, special thanks to Ryan and his food. And also to Laura who brought the, the wraps with the, with the beans and rice and stuff. So a so, uh, big applause for everybody and I hope you all have a great time. Thank you so much, Santiago. Um, we really appreciate um, all the speakers who are here with us here today to share their stories um, in our in our fight for food justice. Um, we must consider indigenous food sovereignty and migrant farm labor that's taking our food and the youth and all the people who are uh, part of uh, um, you know the worse off because of our corporate food system and uh, we're here today to change that. We're gonna have a closing prayer now um, and then go right into um, some magical uh, creatures telling you a story. Thanks so much. Girls. All right, my name is uh, Big Win. I'm from Oshwegan. Uh, and uh, uh, POW name is uh, John Garlo. I'm going to say a few words uh, to close off. Uh, our way of life, if you do an opening, you, it's always customary to do a closing. Uh, give you thanks. I don't know if, if anybody has uh, welcomed you to. Uh, Six Nations land. I don't know if you're all aware of it, but uh, you are standing and sitting on uh, Six Nations land. Toronto belongs to the Six Nations and uh, nobody else but uh, Six Nations. We covered that through the wine docks a long time ago. So uh, just to let you know that uh, we haven't given up our land here yet in Toronto. All right. <laughs> All right, we have a theatrical performance about to begin. If you don't mind, just
Testing. Ladies and gentlemen, gardeners of all ages, I am here to twist and turn up the beat for all you British revolutionaries. Gather around for a new plot to sound right here on this sacred ground. It was one year ago today. May Day began with a jamming picnic. We sang, hey, what's going on? This food system's sick. Not sick as in good, sick as in bad, sad, definitely not rad. We sang, whoa, where did the money go? We brought dirt and shovels and green, the best green you've ever seen. Yeah. 
balconies in the streets, gardening in the parks, in the schools, in hospitals where I help for the economy, yeah, for the environment, for democracy. Calling all the faders, don't play posse, don't play 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 Processes of agriculture. 
Bottom line is, it's illegal. This car is so illegal. The city never gave permission for your criminal nutrition. Sure, you must have had suspicion of this blooming demolition. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal. Your garden is illegal. What? <laughs> 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 Kitty! Kitty! 
None of us can eat if the bees aren't healthy. Some people would rather be rich and wealthy to care about a shed rock of birthplace. Bless the bees and the life that they pollinate. None of us can eat if the bees aren't healthy. Some people would rather be rich and wealthy to care about a shed rock of birthplace. Bless the bees and the life that they pollinate. Genetically modified plants and seeds. Putting poison pollen in the air we breathe. Spraying pesticides, killing birds and bees. All hives in a state of emergency. Just the niggas killing up the pollinators. We're talking green over a lot of acres. Killing the bugs and then they wonder why the traps are players. All it takes is one link to break the throw it all away. Cause if there's no bees to pollinate the trees, there won't be any fruits or food to eat. Life on Earth will completely cease. In just a few years, we'll all be deceased. Please believe all of this is facts. Talk to beekeepers, the colony collapsed. When I see bees buzzing and the flowers are relaxed, protect the beehives everywhere you're at. None of us can eat if the bees are healthy. Some people would rather be rich and wealthy to care about. I share wealth of birthplace, bless the bees and the life that they pollinate. None of us can eat if the bees are healthy, but some people would rather be rich and wealthy to care about. I share wealth of birthplace, bless the bees and the life that they pollinate. I can't believe we're killing the bees. The cell phone and my tent don't see. The first machine is what I do in the green. Where the GMOs go, the earth will bleed. See where the bees stop. Pulling in their drops. They die and they drop. We need to be for God. That's the side, that's the side. We're doing the pollen. Pollen is the last nail. I promise the pollen we quit trying. What can you help me? Sorry? It's live. Occupy Toronto live stream. Rock on! Woo! 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 
Let's sit down for a nap. That was the seed that was planted last year. Oh! Uh -huh. Showers up, listen to my baba, we no want to greed. So put away your guns, no need for the gutch crab, let's say love it is a massage. Love we need, how we need a more love. Coming like a showers up, listen to my baba, we no want to greed. So put away your guns, no need for the gutch crab, let's say love it is a massage. Love and happiness are where the hope of manifest. Teach you them friendliness and how to pray and do them best. Shad in a the valley of the shadow of death when we keep on the the pit and evil and the sentry. But never will I fear and never will I pray when they go for using shad in through this generation. X. Yo, when them are going to do in a 
inside this again I wish on it When we turn them robots and cyborgs and surrogates They better change your dirty ways They better watch your dirty flex Yeah, make them more in touch with them corrupting Congress I just yeah. love and righteousness I wear the big you profess Get to you just watch your ways And step away from filthiness I just love we need And we need no more love I'm in the crush of us up This is from above and we no more no greed no. So put away your guns No need for the gush Cause bless it love it is a must yo Better you just hold it bit and go and try this shit Now for them in a them pretty suit them a beer Mama in a the kitchen Do what a beer Don't you have to see the color and the match Just to ever greet I just want to see if you want to go choose a your gate Just to ever tell them that love conquer it Now beer where them a try I am them a helpful cheat Better you don't buy them in them swing you up like it Love we need How we need a more love Come in like a shop us up Let's see some of them but we no want no greed So put away your guns No need for the gush Cause they still love with this Well you might tell us to last the idea I just want to come from life for more blessings Yeah no And you know That's why we deal with natural vibrations you know We store the herbs and all of that you know And I miss the sick of them stars Who are you representing you know Yeah you know And I love myself And you know what I say? Yo, that we the well sick and dancer Take two jars like my friends up on Mars Meditation went higher than the stars Just kick back and up the right couple bars Couple bars for this and we the well better than yours Take two jars like my friends up on Mars Meditation went higher than the stars Just kick back Can I be right couple bars, couple bars for me say I agree, since he me, he want in Boil up the wigs and mix it up with the Medina Load up the talents and we run it in the steam And now some police doctor smoke it, and now some preacher Cure up your asthma, cat, parak, and all your fever No ecstasy, pack a hurt, but no one that need I agree, Rally Ryan, you team of the leader Excuse me while I roll up, like this for later Gunja, we cram out up in the media The herbs are well sick and dancers Take two jars and work rains up on Mars Meditation well higher than the stars Just kick back and nap it Yeah, you know, I just love, you know Money, money, what I say, I see, I do I want you all to give yourself a round of applause Everybody, we appreciate love And protect the bees And let's grow the trees, you know Yeah, man, what are you representing, you know I just want to love and more like a more blessing Thank you very much for us, man What an amazing day today! We're planting a garden and we've got a seed library. Does everyone know about the seed library? Okay, so the idea is if you go over there by the tree, over there you'll see the seeds. There, there's not that much left right now, but the seed library is open, and wherever the seed library is going to be, if you write your uh, email address on there, the, then we'll let you know exactly where we're going to be. The idea is that you get your seeds, you grow your vegetables, and then you bring seeds back to the seed library, so it all turns around. Yo, love y'all. Thank you, everybody, for coming out for this beautiful day. Soilidarity City, this is what it looks like, it feels like. Soilidarity! Soilidarity! We have a special message to pass along from the Sergeant at Arms, the Queen's uh, uh, muscle here at, uh, at the legislature. Um, they advised us that we do not have permission to plant and maintain a symbolic community garden here on the south lawn of Queen's Park. <laughs> they, they promised to destroy the garden if we do not remove it afterwards. You can see that we planted it on top of cardboard and on top of a tarp. And so with your participation, I'm going to offer three numbers. If everyone who has a cell phone and is able to make a phone call right now, we'd like to contact Councillor Wong Tam, Councillor of this ward, and Richard Ubbins, the Director of Parks as well as Solomon Boye, the Community Garden Program Coordinator. And we are going to be lifting up this garden and walking it north where we had planted the People's Peas Garden last May 1st. You're about to give the phone number? So if everyone who wants to can get out their phone 
Mic check. Mic check. check. Get out your phone. Get out your phone. phone. We're calling city councilors. We're calling city councilors. Because we want a community garden. Because we want a community garden. So pay attention. So pay attention! He's just, he's just about to give us the phone numbers. Let's give us the phone numbers! Okay, so before you call... Before you call... Before you call... Tell them, or let just just know to tell them that you, as a citizen or as a person, human being here, um, you desire a community garden in Queens Park as a symbol of food security, and you request their support. And maintaining that garden and not destroying that community garden. It's uh, a symbol of food security here in the city and a, and a symbol of hope and inspiration for the hundreds of people here gathered. And so there's three numbers. Uh, please pick one of the numbers and call and just leave a message. Um, save that number and then call again afterwards if you don't get through. Okay, so the director of parks, Richard Ovens, his phone number is 416 392. 7911. That is Richard Ovens, Director of Parks, and he has final say authority over whether or not a community garden gets in in Queen's hey, Park. Everybody online, to your phone. So his number once again was 416 392 7919. And Councillor Wong Tam, her number is 416 392 7911. Her number once again is 416 392 7911. And that's Councillor Wong Tam. And finally, Program Coordinator for Community Gardens in Toronto is Solomon Boy, and his number is 416-392-7800. And take note that the first six digits of each number are the same. And his number, once again, is 416-392-7800. And if you don't get through right at the moment, please keep calling all throughout the day, and then again tomorrow, and then message your councillor. Uh, send them emails, just flood them with positive me messages and uh, ask them to keep the garden in Queen's Park. We don't want a, a, another garden destroyed while people in the city starve. Okay? Woo! And now if we can get everybody's participation to please pick up your garbage. Pick up everything that you brought in the park, even if you didn't bring it in the park and you see it. Uh, trash, ladder, scattered. Leave no trace in this park. And uh, we need many strong arms and ingenuity to move this garden to the North Lawn and then following that, we're going to be heading to City Hall as soon as possible for 5.30 round dance uh, in solidarity and for Solidarity City. If anyone needs the number that didn't get the number, please come forward. We might let you just all hold on the side. We might you have to. So what? Oh, I see. You're gonna lift the card. Mike, check. I just wanted to let you guys know that the day's not over, it's just begun. After we plant this beautiful community garden today in Queen's Park, we are going to be doing a creature crawl to City Hall. So we will be marching as a contingent down to Nathan Phillips Square um, and continuing the festivities there. Because at 5.30 there will be a big rally and more festivities happening. Um, so we're going to be leaving here sometime during the 4 o'clock hour to head over there. Thank you so much for coming out today! Hey, I lost my yeah, rattle. It's a shaker yeah. over by the timeline tree. It's an old yeah. rattle with a blue handle. If anybody finds it, I'm sure we'd like to have it back. Thank you very much. I'll keep right through on a live stream. Okay, so you can actually just grab it off there. You should be able to, yeah. If you're not even always call me. How do I contact you? And also, one more message for folks. You can hashtag our event. Hashtag free food for the number four all. 
and also hashtag may one to and just take note that the south lawn is provincial jurisdiction the north lawn is municipal jurisdiction so we need uh, messages to the municipality the city of toronto to get them to support the garden in queen's park Yar, Reverend. How are we doing today? Good. Happy May Day. Yar. <laughs> Yar. <laughs> have you seen Devin yet? Yeah, he is here. Kathy's here. I saw Kathy, not Devin. Devin. Whoa! Look at that tool. Whoa! Devin! Oh! Devin! What the? Look at this! Holy moly! Oh! Devin! Did you have a hand in this? Yeah, it's, it's just the, the territory. Are you going for a record for two row wampums? Yeah, look at that big, huge two row. Man. <laughs> Who did this? That one was at I believe that's <laughs> yeah, that's the one that's out. Jalen. Two row society. I'm performing tonight. Oh, nice. Yeah. Y'all want to do something here? I, I don't know. Loretta Lyne. Woo. Norway Park or something. Little Norway Park in support of the uh, the striking Porter Airline workers. Fuck them, they're on our country and territory. I don't support them. This, they're, they should be paying not. tax to Why our Confederates. They're, they're, they're on strike they against Porter Airlines. They should be Airline. paying tax folks to our Confederates. They're, they're, on stri they're, working, they're striking workers of Porter Airlines. I gotta go find my sister. Okay, well, let's I go. Don't. Hey. My sister. Look know. at this two row wampum. Okay, folks. Um, now, because I, I think I, I just changed batteries near the end of that, and I might run into battery problems. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to power down. I was going to cover our march to City Hall, but there's a lot of things happening from 5.30 on. There's so much, and I'm going to run into battery problems. So I'm going to power down right now, and I'll be back on air at 5.30, which is about a, a little over an hour from now, because um, I need to charge batteries so I don't run into uh, battery problems tonight. Okay, folks, so one final uh, look around. And uh, I will be back at 5.30 from Nathan Phillips Square. Okay, folks? My name is Dean Shanger. I'm a mod and live stream director here at Occupy Toronto. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you at 5.30 in about an hour, okay?